everyone, how are you all doing today? I hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to finally, finally try and give you a little bit of a six month update since I've moved to Japan. I think actually I might be closer to seven months, but if you've been following me on social media, you know that a lot has happened recently and I was waiting for things to settle down a little bit, but then like, you know, nothing's ever gonna settle down. <laughs> like, things just keep piling up so uh, I thought I'd just, I'd just do it and I have to go to school in not too long so hopefully I can get everything done in one go um, I'm gonna just, it's just gonna be a general update so if there are things that I mention and that you would like me to like, elaborate more on this or make a more dedicated video towards that subject whether that be like school or share house life or dating etc etc i have a bunch of bullet points in front of me that i need to mention but if you want me to focus more on one of those specific points just let me know in the comments so let's jump right in and um my voice is already breaking <clears throat> it is the middle of October, so definitely been more than six months that I've been here, but also it kind of feels like I just moved here like two months ago or something. Where has the time gone? I can't believe this is the third season that I'm experiencing here in Japan, like consecutive season. I arrived here in spring and it's now fall. Like, where has the time gone? It's absolutely crazy. I'm also in my third trimester at school like my mind is blown um i still definitely feel like an outsider here i feel like a foreigner i still even though i'm used to a lot of things i still don't feel like i melt in like what's the word like <laughs> merge oh gosh no english today apparently but i think you see what i mean um, I still feel like I stick out and I still make a shit ton of mistakes and yeah, but all in all, even though there has been a lot, a lot of ups and downs, recently more downs than up, I still like it here, I still want to continue living here. The goal was to live... Oh, my voice. <clears throat> Actually, my initial goal was to live here for one year and then after COVID and the whole two years on standby thing i was like okay let's do six months and then maybe extend to a year but now that i've been here for six months it's like no way in hell that i'm going back already i like i said i feel like i still i i feel like i just got here um okay let's let's go to the to the bullet points that i have in front of me so home life as you can see if you've been following me for a while same background i'm still in the friggin shared house that was not my goal my goal was to stay in the share house for up to six months but like stay there for sure like here for sure for three months and then during the next three months three months look for another place uh, which I can't afford at the moment because of everything that's been going on. I guess I should have mentioned that before the bullet points. Like, if you haven't seen my previous videos, um, I've had mental health issues, like, completely flare up. And I've lost my main earning job, which was earning me enough money anyway, but lost that job. May have a new job on the horizon, fingers crossed, touch, wood touch, like cross everything that you have, your fingers, your toes, your arms, your legs, your whatever. Um, I may have a new job, I was kind of waiting for confirmation before doing this video, but you know what, It's gonna. it might take a while, so fingers crossed for now. And if I can stay with that job and uh, my earnings are consistent and sufficient, maybe I will finally be able to move into my own apartment maybe not my dream apartment though who knows um it's it's about time to have some ups after the little series of lows that we've just had but um definitely looking forward to getting my own place uh same as last video last update video i'm kind of tired of shared house life i kind of feel confined confined to this room i'm not a social person i'm very much an introvert i have a very short social battery life so I'm very much craving my own place, for sure. So yeah, um, if you want to help me out to get my own place, you can join my Patreon team, which has been, honestly, if you are one of my patrons, thank you, because you have been so supportive. 
I cannot thank you enough. Me still being here in Japan, um, regardless of like the whole job situation, I very much owe it to you guys. So thank you, patrons. And if you want to join, it starts at just one dollar per month. Doesn't seem like much, but every little helps, honestly. So thanks. Uh, I guess next point would be school. So third trimester. I'm not. A, I I've never been someone who thrives. In like the like your traditional school system so I'm definitely feeling that like cagey feeling like Ugh, I cannot stretch the way like I can't study the way I want and I mean I don't want to complain because my school is a very good school the teachers are really good the material is good but I'm starting to feel like a little stuck there like I kind of want more freedom um, I guess like student visas do give you somewhat a lot of freedom but I guess for maybe someone like me who I, I don't know if you know what I mean but I feel uh, like a queen I want to break free kind of a feeling so um, I'm gonna stay on a student visa probably for as long as I can but I'm definitely definitely thinking about what other options I have when it comes to visas which will allow me to stay here because um, I definitely feel like my Japanese has plateaued. Um, I don't. F maybe I'm getting even worse because I'm not like going forward. I feel like maybe I'm forgetting things, and I don't feel like school right now, at least, is matches up with what I need for me to thrive uh, and learn and practice more Japanese. But who knows? Maybe I just need to kick myself in the butt a little more and study more but I, I feel like I need more like real life practice more than school at the moment and also like I said I don't thrive in this kind of environment I've, I never have so um, yeah just keeping at it I wish I could say like yeah after six months my Japanese is so good but no not really I'm uh, this trimester I'm the only like westerner in my class and I feel kind of like falling behind all the other students and because I have very much an inf inferiority complex it kind of makes me like close up instead of being like I'm gonna catch up and I'm gonna be at the same level as everyone I'm just gonna be I just feel like like I'm closing up and just hiding behind everyone and I don't want to speak up I don't want to make a fool of myself and I know it's a stupid thing but just that's just how it is that's just school at the moment and that's my experience um, I guess I'm kind of disappointed in myself because I thought I'd be much more fluent at this stage but it is what it is uh, hopefully will come it is the, very much like the first language that I'm pushing myself to learn to be fluent uh, like a lot of people I feel have had to learn English and had had to have had to master English but because I'm bilingual yay like privileged person um, <laughs> this is my first time like really ha trying to master language and maybe that's one of the reasons that I'm struggling I don't know maybe I'm not that smart <laughs> never said I was smart but I feel very much confronted to that reality lately like huh maybe I'm not that smart <laughs> okay uh, yeah friends and relationships I guess that's kind of the same relationships friends dating um, I get along with my classmates pretty well. I don't like, I would call myself friendly with a lot of them, but like, ride or die, like, really good friends. Um, I don't feel like I found here in Japan yet, and um, I know at first I really, really wanted that, but these days I'm just so busy and struggling with my mental health that I don't know how I would be able to keep up with multiple friendly relationships I don't know if that makes sense but I, I do want to make friends I do want to make Japanese friends I don't think I have any like Japanese friends like I'm just friendly with my classmates who've gone out for like meals and drinks and stuff but hmm yeah I guess some some of my classmates I would consider friends but also like you get that feeling that um shit the battery already you get that feeling that um when we change classes or if 
someone goes back to their home country we're probably not gonna keep in touch that much if you know what i mean so like really close friends probably not yet dating that's a whole other video dating in japan is not easy i knew it was not going to be easy to be honest, I didn't expect to really go on any dates while I was here but when I was back in Belgium right before moving to Japan I was really active on the dating apps and when I arrived in Japan I just continued to be active on dating apps just like to have that experience like for the plot so uh, yeah I've had <laughs> I've had yeah I have a lot to say about that, so I think that will be a, a whole other video if you're, if you're interested in that. Um, but yeah, given mm, the inside of my head, maintaining relationships at the moment is not easy. I have to work on myself, I have a school, I have work, I have a lot of shit to deal with. On top, like, having a relationship with that, any kind, friendly or romantic, is very complicated. But I have a lot to say about it, so if you want a video, a dedicated video, let me know. I just had to change the battery. Um, maybe I can talk a little slower now. But I still have to go to school soon, so... Yay! So the next thing I wanted to really briefly mention is an update on my mental health. I'm still on SSRI, so my anxiety and whatever that weird depression thing was. So I do feel better. I'm st I think also the stuck feeling from being at school doesn't help. Um, because I did feel better when I was on break from school. I felt much, much better in regards to my mental health. But now that I'm back at school, I'm feeling really tired again. So it is what it is <laughs> for sure. But I feel better on the meds, though I am starting to run out and I don't have anything to replace them because they are from Belgium and I don't think I'm going to be able to find like a doctor actually maybe i just don't want to find a doctor here because i'm kind of afraid of doctors um and i'm currently afraid of speaking japanese at all like i'm in that state scared of speaking japanese um so i am gonna slowly start like decreasing and going off them and then finding some kind of alternative like uh, there is cbd oil here in japan now so maybe i'll try that and got supplements that I want to try so hopefully those will work and I won't have to be on SSRIs for long because that's not what I want but also I'm scared of going back to my non-stop anxiety and racing thoughts so wish me luck on that that was the mental health segment um oh actually not quite done with the mental health segment actually I've talked to some people who have been living here for quite a long time and they've mentioned they have mentioned that when they start living out in Japan, they also struggle with mental health issues. So it might be kind of a common thing. Um, who knows? If, if you're a foreigner and you've been living in Japan for a while, I'd be really interested in knowing how, how the process was for you. Maybe some people thrive right away. Maybe some people just go on with their lives and feel neutral, like no change, no positive, no negative. And maybe some people just struggle a little bit at first because it is very different. Everything is so, so different. Also, if you don't have like things like money and a support system, it's not easy. It's definitely not easy, but I'm sure it depends from one person to another, their situation from one person to another, etc, etc. For me, like not having enough money was definitely something that stressed me out and kind of pushed me back into the deep end of my mental health issues yeah what else i did mention that i have been here for three seasons um yes yeah, summer was was definitely something that i did not expect like as much as people tell you like tokyo summer is humid pit of hell until you've experienced tokyo summers you cannot imagine what tokyo summers are oh my god it's it's like you, you step a foot outside and you start melting and sweating and you feel like you're breathing water instead of air it was definitely something I still, summer is still my favorite season even Tokyo summers will not change my mind on my favorite season but it was definitely challenging um, just before summer and just after summer it's like definitely 
a more comfortable and lovely time to be out right now. Um, the leaves haven't really changed yet, but the temperatures have definitely plummeted. We've gone from like over 20 degrees Celsius to now in the 14 to 17 degrees, like very fast. Like it's not really considered a normal Japanese fall. It's not really mellow. Kind of unpredictable. I do kind of miss the cicadas even though they were very loud and then we had the crickets for the end of summer beginning of fall. I don't really hear the crickets anymore. I'm hearing a lot of crows though and also something I've noticed is that the streets have a very different smell recently. They smell of tea and I don't know it's because people start drinking tea because it's it's colder and now all no because it smells like of the same exact like floral tea smell so they must they, they must be something in bloom right somebody help me out here it smells lovely like it reminds me of the first time i came to japan which was around this time of year it really smells like floral tea it's really it's really nice that's something i've noticed recently uh on my commute to school it smells like tea very nice i like it <laughs> time to speed up i'm sorry i'm like speed running through this update um, I guess I kind of mentioned the job thing. Um, I do have a modeling job here again in Japan. I only went to one audition uh, that I didn't get, but it was quite a fun experience. Um, I don't think I have enough experience, actually I don't have any experience here at all, to make a video, dedicated video about modeling in Japan, but maybe someday I will. Uh, right now I just have one agency, maybe in the future I'll try to get into more agencies. Um, but yeah, so far um, they do send me jobs, I apply for them, and I've had one audition so far. I haven't, I think I've only been there less than a month in that agency, but so far it's kind of fun. And uh, I don't think it will really turn into anything, but I did it when I was like really looking for every kind of job out there possible like doing all the interviews considering every kind of job like back to customer service like seriously shoot me uh janitorial work everything um but yeah that's something new i guess and uh for future plans like future jobs i still don't know i do see myself staying in japan after that one year mark that like one that like that one year plan thing I kinda, I kinda wanna stay here I do wanna stay here but I know it's gonna be complicated so might have to get a job teaching if I can I mean look at me like I'm covered in tattoos I have no background in teaching but if there is a school that is willing to hire me and give me a work visa um sure I'll teach English, I'll teach French, I'll do it. <laughs> I want to stay in Japan, but I'm really looking at what my options here are because I know it's going to go very fast, like six months, almost seven months already. We need to hurry up and find a job, a solution. Like not the jo a job for now, like to pay rent, like a visa job. But yeah, that is like the future plan. I want to stay in Japan, not in a share house, in my own place, probably in Tokyo, though if, if it a job takes me somewhere else in Japan, I'm completely open to it. Who knows? Tokyo might be better for like job opportunities though, but we'll see. Yeah, so this video is gonna starting to get really long and I'm still spewing information at you. I'm, I'm trying to remember all the little things that might be useful for newcomers and also for myself. When I look back at these videos, I want to see like the progression uh, that I made <laughs> from one like when did I start? Like first week, three months, six months? Or maybe first month, three months, six months? Anyway, I want to look back at that progression and have as much details uh, as I as I can uh, to remember. Uh, what else? Uh, definitely running out of money, which is why I really need this new job to work out. If you don't know what happened to my previous job, it's, in, it's two videos back. From this one i think uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's getting cold i need to update my closet i can't really figure out japanese weather yet as soon as i think that i figured out japanese weather it's time for another season change like i thought i'd figured out like the summer like what i'm supposed to wear when it's humid and like you need to be able to remove layers and stuff but now 
it's cold again like <laughs> ah, and i wear so many layers and then it's too hot and then i get in the classroom and they have all the windows open and i'm freezing cold i actually kind of have a cold right now like my throat is a little scratchy um so you need like layers all the time and i cannot figure it out for the life of me same with the rain sometimes it says it's gonna rain and then it doesn't rain and then that one time you forget your umbrella it's chucking it down with rain like japanese weather is a very tricky enigma to me <laughs> but at least my hair is no longer crazy frizzy from the humidity that's a good point with the season change i guess yeah this is this is it so far um like i said it's been like 50 50 like 50 good 50 kind of challenging struggling kind of thing um not really what i expected but i do kind of tend to like dream of this wonderful utopic utop utopic utopia utopia like this wonderful thing i daydream of like perfect disney life waiting for prince charming and everything so of course i'm gonna be disappointed by reality right <laughs> i'm gonna let you go now uh leave any questions that you have for me in the comments below if there's anything that i need to make a dedicated video to talk more in depth about leave it in the comment below leave everything in the comment below honestly i love reading your comments they're really fun to read and most of the time and uh yeah it feels like we're having more of a dialogue instead of me just bleh words to the camera <laughs> if you know what i mean also if you feel like giving me a like please do so and if you're not subscribed yet please subscribe there's gonna be more stuff which only it's only gonna get better from here we've had like this big dip and now it's only gonna get better right so please subscribe and uh come hang out with me on other social media it'll be fun i have a discord i have a patreon i have all the classical instagram twitter stuff so yeah i will catch you on there i need to go get ready for school yeah okay See you in the next one. Thank you for watching. I'll word you all. Bye.